Hi guys, so to start off we'll make a new class called quickfind. So this class will represent a union find data type. It will support the union and find operations along with the connected operation for determining whether two objects are in the same component. So first let's make a variable called integer array which will be an integer array by its name then we will put the getters and setters get integer array should return the integer array. Now the setter public void set integer array. It will return the integer array. This dot integer array equals the integer array that we passed here then we should make the constructor it should be quick find since it is the name of the class oops quick find it should pass in parameter of the length of the array so it should be say length of array so we will say this dot integer array equals to new integer array pass in the index as the length of array so this will basically create a new array with the maximum of the length of the array. Next we will make a for loop integer i equals 0 i should be less than the length of the integer array so integer array dot length then we should increment by 1 i plus plus inside the for loop we will say this dot integer array passing i as the index is equal to new random integer should import that we can say dot next int passing say 20 and say plus 1 so what this basically does is uh, for each index uh, in the array it will set a value uh, which is a random number with a bo upper bound of 20 so next we will make the find method say that so the parameter that should be passed in will be int index then it should return integer array and then pass in the index so it will get whatever the index from the array next we will make a, the connected method say public boolean connected we should pass in two variables 
say p and q int q then we should check whether p is equal to q so return integer array with the index of p we check equal equals integer array pass the index q now we should make the union method public void union pass in two parameters like before in p in q then we create new two new variables to store the value of the indexes that we passed in p and q say int value of p equals integer array index p then int value of q integer array q then we should check if p and q are not in the same component so let's say if value of p is not equals to value of q then we pass in a for loop for int i equals 0 i should be less than the length of the integer array integer array dot length then we say i plus plus we need to increment by 1 inside the for loop we do an if check say if integer array we pass the index of i is equals to equal equal the value of p then we assign the value at the index i to q so say integer array of index i we assign it to value of q so in a sense we are if p and q are not equals we assign the value of p uh, as to uh, the index i and then we are setting that to as the value of q so p and q are both equal so that is the end of the method of the method union now we can test this out public static void main string so in the main method we can initialize a new quick find object say quick find quick find equals new quick find so we pass in the value that means the length of the array say 20 and now we had to print out the values of the array so we know what they are so system out printer then values of array we convert the 
values in the array into a string using arrays dot to string say quick find dot get integer array. then we print the value at say the fourth index the, so we say value at fourth index is and use the find method that we implemented quick find dot find and pass in the value of 4 and then we will find out whether say 1 and 4 are connected so print is index 1 and 4 say just connected then we can say quick find dot connected and then pass in 1 and 4 so p will be 1 and q will be 4 then for mm, for user friendliness we can just put some print statements like processing union of index please wait So here we will test the union method that we implemented. Quick find dot union. We can put say five and six, and for again for user friendliness, we can just again this is not necessary. If, if you want to, you can put it. Otherwise, it's just fine. It won't affect the implementation. Uh, say done now we need we can now since the all three methods are tested find connected and union we can print out the values of the array again so we can see what has changed and what hasn't so we can say system out printer then array values after the union again we can say arrays dot to string quick find dot get into the array so this will print out the values of the array after all the uh, methods being executed uh, here we can just say indexes 5 and 6 since this is related to the union method and that's it we can test this out hopefully okay so we get the values of the array then value at fourth index that is 17 0 1 0 is 7 1 is 16 2 is 7 3 is 1 and 4 is 17 so that's correct is index 1 and 4 connected false so index 1 is 16 index 4 is 17 so it's false 
then the union of indexes 5 and 6 so that's 14 and 6 so here we can see array values after the union 7 16 17 so 17 is the fourth index then as we can see at the fifth and sixth index were 14 and 6 now after the union method it has become 6 and 6 so we can see the sixth index is be, be made into the fifth index uh, so that's about it